Thanks for joining us and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall podcast. Periodically, we'll bring you true stories of angelic encounters, heavenly visitations, near-death experiences, as well as modern-day prophecies that are relevant to us today. When we come back, we'll begin our next episode. Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to hear from Stan Johnson and some recent prophecies that he's come across for 2021. I think you'll find them very interesting. They seem to go right along with those dreams that Dana Coverstone has had. The following comes from a recent episode of The Prophecy Club. Welcome to the Prophecy Club. I'm going to bring you a prophecy that was just given September the 23rd, 2020. It comes to us from a prophecy out of London, England. His name is Tommy Arroyomi. I'm going to talk about this because I listened to several of his others. He sounds like he's probably hearing from God, had a supernatural experience, and sounds everything sounds correct. But the primary reason I'm going to read this is because much of what he's going to say about halfway through, we got to get there first, about halfway through really confirms what Dana Coverstone has said. Some of it is also bringing some good news to us. Everybody went to the solemn September assembly. The one big question we have is, did we reach the mark? Was there enough prayer? Was there enough fasting? Has there been enough people? And this is probably to be taken place in terms of the arrests and things like that. Have we fulfilled 2 Chronicles 7.14 to where God would hear from heaven and heal our land? That's the big question. We want to know. We know our prayers were heard, but were they enough? We know our fasting was received, but was it enough? That's the big question. I believe that it is sort of giving us the answer. And I want to believe that to a certain degree... At least some of it has been softened and delayed. Now, how much? I don't know. I'd like to think that all of it goes away. But let me just read it. I think you'll understand. I'll kind of go slow and talk about it as we go along. September 23rd, Tommy, spelling T-O-M-I, A-R-A, A-R-A, Y-O-M-I, Tommy Arroyomi, September 23rd, 2020. He says, I preface this 2021 word with a prophetic harbinger that the Lord gave me back in 2020. In this word, the Lord gave me 18 prophetic landmarks for the United States of America. Then he plays Landmark 11. He said Landmark 11 would be the most significant. I saw a Supreme Court judge dropping the gavel, and it looked like either someone got sick or died, or they moved from their position, but it looked like another seat was getting ready to be made available. And that was said like back in January of 2020. He said, the Spirit of God says that this will be my swing vote seat, and I will replace it with that which shall shift the balance of powers judicially. An angel was spotted in my office. I know this angel of the Lord well. I was told this would be my national angel that would come when God wanted to reveal words for the nations to me. He said, on the 17th of September, the angel visited me in my office. And now let me just say, when you say an angel has come to you and you're lying, it's been my experience, you don't live long. (laughs) God does not put up with that. So when someone says an angel spoke to him, the only thing I got to say is, bub, it better have been an angel talk to you or you won't live long. I've seen it several times where people got to lying in the name of the Lord. And just like in the days of Jeremiah, they don't live long. Okay, so when someone says they have an angel, that's probably God. I said probably, not guaranteed, but probably God. 
On the 17th of September, the angel visited me in my office. The next day, Justice Ginsburg died. This angel showed up and said, this is a new year. Justice Ginsburg died on the Feast of Trumpets or Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. The angel normally shows up on the Gregorian New Calendar to speak to me about the coming year. This time, the angel showed up on the Jewish New Year. The Lord said, it is not just for the sake of America, but for the sake of the whole world. The Spirit of God says that 2020 was the year of justice. 2021 will be a new year for justice. Now, I believe that he's talking about all these arrests we've been talking about. It will not be a false or a perverted justice, but it will be a justice that will move the needle of my kingdom forward in the earth. For there will be those who will still pervert my justice. In 2020, many burned down statues made in the image of political men. But in 2020, they will burn down political men who no more ask for my justice. In other words, these people that are issuing perverted justice is going to stop. I will raise my hand to bring swift justice, says the Lord. The Lord says this year's election will not be a battle between Trump versus Biden. It will be a battle between life and death. I will change the course of history in one seat. Another shall follow it, and there will be a great uproar. Well, that certainly sounds like the replacing of the justice, and that sounds like the uproar over replacing this, because when Ginsburg is replaced, that means we will have a conservative court, and that means that we can start removing things like Roe v. Wade and many of the other garbage decisions that have been made. I will sit on this seat, says the Lord. I will move in my 20-year plan to reverse laws that have been changed, the cultures of nations, this will be your hope, where many will say, cannot change the decisions on abortion, watch, as I tip the scales of justice, and as I move sovereignly to bring things back on the table that your enemy told was off of the table. Now, the part I like about that is he's saying a 20-year plan. Look, at if the world has 20 more years before Jesus returns, that's real good news. Because prior to this, it doesn't look like, unless God gives us another respite, and I think he may have, then it, we wouldn't make it to 20 years. That's my opinion based upon the prophecies. But let's go on. In 2021, I am still the salt shaker. And I will shake you, O church, for the salt that I long to see produced in you. And many will say, when will the shaking stop? And I will declare, when you are unshakable, says the Lord. For you have sown to the wind. And the Lord says in 2021, there will be a reaping of the whirlwind, meaning you're going to get what you sowed. And yet I will give a remnant the ability to move with my spirit and my timing, says the Lord. Well, that certainly sounds like sevenfold miracles to me. At least that may be me thinking that because I want to see it. But let's go on. Then I saw in a vision a man who had been in a car accident. He only had a few injuries, but his lawyer told him to go to the doctor get a full checkup for the whiplash that he never had. Then he was told to wear a neck brace at the neck that never hurt. Then he was told to wear a leg brace and on the foot that was never injured. I asked the Lord what this means. He said, in 2021, the Lord says, you will not need to assume the posture of victimhood for me to bring justice for your enemy has come as a crooked lawyer and has whispered in your ear to assume the posture of victimhood to receive compensation that will never come. Do not be the pawn in his agenda to fill his pockets at the expense of your victimhood. For the Lord says, many will mourn for the years that you have given to a fight that I'm not fighting and a battle that I was not in. The Lord says in 2021, it should be a year of the valley where you saw a great overreach in 2020 and 2021. I will give you the decision. Reason with me, what do you want, says the Lord? A mob, a mindless crowd, or an ecclesia? In other words, what do you want? Do you want a church or do you want a mob? In 2021, I will separate the mind of Christ from the mindless crowd, as in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. 
It says so, and I insist, and God backs me up on this, that there will be no going along with the crowd. Well, that's what Coverstone said. There's going to come a division, a gap between the godly and the ungodly that are in the church. There will be no going along with the crowd. The empty-headed, mindless crowd, they refused for so long to deal with God that they've lost touch not only with God, but on reality itself. They can't think straight anymore. Feeling no pain, they let themselves go in sexual obsessions addicted to every sort of perversion. Well, that's what Dimitri Dedeman said. In the church, there's abortion, adultery, fornication, sodomy, and divorces and all kinds of sin. The Lord says, I desire to bring my justice, and not a justice that is far off, but a justice through my ecclesia, or my church, that will regain lost territory and clean out dirty swamps. He's saying that the church will be cleaned up, and then the church will begin to clean the nation. The Lord says, you will see the rise of my saints, and there will be a new breed of prophetic evangelism that will cover the earth, for I will designate a new revival, says the Lord. Well, that's what we have been looking and praying for, my brothers and sisters. There is the rise of a new throwback. And the Lord says, I'm rising up in the earth as a global move. Here it is. Here it is. You're going to love this part. As a global move, the tent meetings again will return. The glory is back in the tents, says the Lord. You who own your own private land, open it up again. Stretch out your tent pegs, for here it is, here it is, for a great harvest is coming upon the church in this next season. The Lord says Russia will say, we found a vaccine. <laughs> By the way, Putin just said that two days ago. Russia will say, we found the vaccine, but the world will not have it. Oxford and London will say, we have found it. China will say, here, it is with me. But the Lord says for his bureaucracy... There will be a reshuffling, and in the delay, I will give those in the Valley of Decision time to decide what they want. Yet, in the Valley of Decision, there will be the spectacle of the great overreach of nations, whereas free was the word of nations' leaders lobbying for votes. The new term shall be mandatory. Okay, did you catch that? He's basically saying that they aren't going to really come up with any kind of a vaccine. Apparently, the Lord is going to do it. And it's not going to be the word free that all of the people are speaking. But instead, what we're going to start hearing is the word mandatory, as in like mandatory masks, mandatory lockdowns, mandatory this, mandatory man Okay, Does that make sense? Hello again, this is The Watchman. Please join us each week for an exciting and inspirational podcast dealing with angel encounters, heavenly visitations, near-death experiences, as well as modern-day prophecies that are relevant to us today. So tune in each week and share it with your friends. After all, they could use a little inspiration in their life, too. That's The Watchman on the Wall podcast, and now you can find us on YouTube. We return you now to Stan Johnson and Prophecies for 2021. In 2021, the rollout will be for our children to be priority one. They will say, get our kids back to school. But I will allow a seed of distrust to be sown. And in 2021 shall be the year of home school records. For I desire a generation to be disciples and not indoctrinated. In other words, it's time for the Christians to start teaching their children in their homes again. Listen to what he says. If those in the Valley of Decision will partner with me and sacrifice, I will raise up a mother in one house to teach while the father works, and a father in another house to teach while the mother works. For I desire the discipleship of parents over the indoctrination of teachers. In other words, he's saying, I don't want you taking your children to be indoctrinated 
by teachers that don't know me. Let the children be your focus, and I will seed your life with a fruitful reward, meaning it's going to be good if you'll do it my way. In 2020, you saw your emergency leaders. These put up a small plaster on a gaping wound. In other words, kind of like the leaders around the world were trying to fix the COVID virus, but they couldn't fix it, okay? Small plaster on a gaping wound. But in 2021, you will see your emerging leaders. I'm ready to skip a generation and raise up a generation in the next generation of prophetic evangelists. I'm ready again to raise up prophets and Nazarenes from among your youth. 2021, brace. And I thought, okay, well, that word brace, that's straight from Dana Coverstone. 2021, brace. And 2022, hold your ground. For the year of perseverance is upon you. And that's what Coverstone told us. I will no longer allow the saints to remain silent at a time like this. Young Esther sitting at ease in Xerxes Palace, those who work in social, civil, and public services, I'm lifting your gag order. The enemy will conflate, that means to be confused, the enemy will conflate the blowing of the whistle with the leaking of classified and the legally protected. In other words, all of these secret, dirty little rooms that have dirty little secrets and dirty little deeds, he's going to bring them out in the open. The legally protected, but I will expose medical malpractice, patient mistreatment, clinical trial malpractice, political malpractice of local and state multinationals, that's multinational businesses, including banking malpractice. Well, good, I say. You whistleblowers, do not be silent. Blow your whistle loud and in wisdom. I will call for a washing up and a washing away and for resignations and dismissals of your bureaucrats and their nobles. Hunker down. Assume the posture of brace season. Well, there it is again. Same thing Coverstone's saying, so it's the same God, the same angel talking to this guy, saying the same words. Hunker down. Assume the posture of a brace season. I will not let nations opt for cashlessness in the midst of a credit world. In other words, the cashless society that they want to bring in, God is not going to let come in, at least not yet. I will not let all nations opt for cashlessness in the midst of a credit world that will vote to rule out cash in favor of credit. I will hold the ground. You intercessors, pray against Iran, for the time to weigh her has come. Do not let your prayers cease, neither trust the smiles of Turkey. I will forge a divide in the Middle East. A man of peace shall be accused of stoking for the war. I will make the media my coiling and my hissing serpent, but her news will be as harmless as the rattle of a rattlesnake. It will hiss, but it will not bite. A greater move in Europe will come to recognize the threat that China poses, and it will be led by the U.S., the U.K., and Australia. A battle for freedom will steamroll into a freedom in the nations that only Christ can truly bring. I saw frustrated people reaching their boiling point for democracy by convenience. The Lord says, no longer will you see sheep-goat nations, meaning the same nation has both good people and bad people in it. He's saying he's changing that. Sheep-goat, okay? The sheep is the Christian, the goat is the non-Christian, okay? No longer will you see sheep-goat nations. In 2021, your enemy is working hard to divide you into sheep-goat counties, sheep-goat cities, and sheep-goat villages. I saw the Lord say, do not ignore the plight of Nigeria for the north. The Spirit of God says there is something much worse than a rich Islam, and it is a hungry and poor Islam. In other words, don't take the oil away from the Arabs, or you will wish you didn't. The Spirit of God says, I am holding greater accountability for the south of Nigeria to take care of the north. There was an unholy alliance of Russia and China, that the Lord says that I will allow to fill a void in war-torn places. But God says I'm raising up a, quote, day and night justice league who will cry to me both day 
and night, that I might show the earth how speedily I can bring justice about. Now let me jump to another thing that sort of ties in with what we're saying here and also the Coverstone dreams. This comes from a Tim Bessemer Sr. I don't know who that is, but since it confirms everything else we've been talking about, I'll read it. I was told that on or soon after Election Day, a true revolt and uprising will take place. It's being organized now. This came from someone who is in government and who told me he's extremely concerned. I cannot tell you who told me this. I can only tell you I'm taking heed. This man never shares this kind of information freely, ever. He said to me the following, in the next two months, an uprising is coming and the government is preparing for national martial law. Now, pause a second. I got a phone call yesterday and it started off, it was from the RNC, that's what the caller ID said. And they were calling, asking for volunteers to show up at the polling places to, how do I say, watch and observe them and to be seeing that everything is done decently in order. And to tell you the truth, I wanted to say, yeah, I'll do it. But I was also a little afraid to do it because I don't need to get out there and get wound up in some kind of a scuffle and the devil pulled me in and all of a sudden I'm in a sticky wicket legally and mess up everything we're trying to do. Uh, but I, I talked to the lady briefly about some things we know and she knew a lot of them and she was a college student college students knowing the kind of things going on I was a little shocked okay so let's get to the things this guy says he said to immediately stock up on goods needed to survive and support life for your family food water paper goods defensive weapons and, and amazingly he emphasized having on hand spare fuel and a generator he is worried for his family again with his position this statement shocked me he told me that anarchist groups that are growing in this nation daily will begin with much larger and broader protests than they're having now, and they will move them swiftly into suburbia. In other words, it won't just be downtown cities. It'll be out here where you and I live, okay? They will be Democrat hierarchy supported. They will employ, quote, shock and awe tactics. Well, once again, that's right out of a Coverstone dream, word for word. They will employ shock and awe tactics. They will employ lockdowns that are mandatory to minimize organized public resistance, as in, don't leave your home, just like we've been talking about right here. In other words, again, ask yourself, if you cannot leave the four walls of your home for a year, I mean, it's not safe, or they won't let you, or something like that, are you prepared? Do you have water and a filter to see that it's clean? Do you have air? a way to make certain that it's clean and the garbage is filtered out of it from the suitcase nukes or whatever it is. Do you have food? I mean food that's not going to go bad because your refrigerator stopped working. You see what I'm saying? They will employ lockdowns that are mandatory to minimize organized public resistance. They have people on the inside verifying the planning. This information is quietly going on and going out to law enforcement agencies nationwide. Bounties are on law enforcement heads especially. They are well funded. If Trump wins, the left will lash out at law enforcement nationwide and against the civilian population for putting Trump back in the office. They will seek death of innocence. Isn't that what the first prophecy just said? It's a matter of life and death. In other words, what we're about to face is a matter of life and death. They will seek death of innocence as payback for the loss of power. Trump will and is preparing to declare martial law nationwide. Well, that's what Terry Bennett said, too. If Biden wins, the left is planning to unleash fury on the nation and citizenry as payback for the last four years of Trump. J.B. will openly advocate for the further defunding of the majority of the police nationwide and H.K. will rule by proxy. Fringe groups must and will be destroyed by force and that plans are being made to do this and restore law and order. But until all of this storm passes, and that comes right out of what Shane Warren said, it's going to get bad, even in the rural areas, as in where you and I live, so that the left can have maximum, quote, shock and awe, straight from Coverstone, effect, 
and drive fear into the nation to submit to BLM and the Democrat New Order. To lay it out plainly, he is talking of a true civil war brewing and that they are preparing for it at the highest levels. I'm taking what I heard tonight seriously, and we're preparing. I implore you to do as well. I'm the author of this, Tim Sr. Okay, well, we have all heard that before. We've heard that from various voices out there. None of that is new. But here's the thing. Let me ask you this, brothers and sisters. Have you prepared? So let me ask you this, brothers and sisters. Do you have some gold and silver in case? Do you have a really good, serious air filter? Do you have a good water filter? And do you have some water stored up? I'm talking about, well, if this all lasts until March 27th or Passover 2021, as Coverstone indirectly has said, that's about six months. So I, let's put it this way. I'm planning on being prepared for a six-month lockdown. Six months, I can't leave my house. Have you thought about it? Do you have food? Do you have water? Do you have these things? If you need something to protect you from an EMP, you can go to empshield.com. The promo code to help Prophecy Club is PROPHECY. If you need gold and silver, cornerstoneassetmetals.com. If you need food, go to heavensharvest.com, promo code STAN. We can look at this and get fear, or we can look at this and say, well, finally, we're going to get some opportunities to do some soul winning. Are you interested in scary places? Well, I found a great podcast called Your Haunted Holiday. Each week, sisters Lisa and Lindsay will take you to some of the most haunted places in the world. Their incredible research into how these places became haunted is complemented by their insight into the ghostly activities that are present. They give you information on ghost tours, prices, and much more. That's Your Haunted Holiday. You can go to yourhauntedholiday.com or just listen to wherever great podcasts are found. Are you looking for a good quality used car but don't want to pay an arm and a leg? Well, come into Rainy Used Cars. We have the largest selection in the Southeast. Whether you want a pickup or a quality SUV for mom, you'll find a variety of vehicles to choose from. We even finance. So come in today. You'll find a rainy used cars located near you. Thanks again for listening, and if you enjoyed this episode, please share it with your friends. Also, give us a like. We welcome any comments or suggestions you might have. We also ask you to subscribe so that you will be notified of all our future episodes. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on the Watchman on the Wall podcast.